the scripts for The Empire Strikes Back, Raiders of the Lost Ark, and his directorial debut Body Heat, Lawrence Kasdan displayed a breathless skill at revitalizing genres on the brink of death and a genuine affection for movie lore. For his third movie as a director, he went back to the most traditional of American art forms, the Western, and pulled off exactly the same trick. Sophisticated and knowing about the rules of the cowboy picture, he had shot full of carefree innocence and exuberance. Silverado is the kind of picture that makes you want to play cowboys the moment it is over. Everything about the movie feels fresh. Even the title, Silverado, feels shiny and new. Rather than casting grizzled He-Man in the hero roles, Kazdan's selection of Kevin Klein, Scott Glenn, Danny Glover, and in his first western, Kevin Costner, could almost be called the Mild Bunch, etching a group of characters as vulnerable as they are courageous. This film is a mix of classic western and modern sensibility. Silverado has the awkwardness and art of a modern western, with lots of no-door remarks straight from the 80s, and a cinematic sweep that echoes the images of John Ford and David Lean. Silverado starts slowly, establishing his characters and situations one by one, gradually picking up speed and mass like a snowball rolling down a mountain. By the time the credits roll, we've had a whirlwind tour of virtually everything you can do in a western. There's also quirky oddities, Sheriff John Cleese's British mannerisms, Kevin Klein's low-key humour, Jeff Goldblum's outlandish wardrobe that are far from stereotypically western, but somehow make themselves home in this one, creating an atmosphere that is uniquely Silverado's. Silverado gets more fun to watch with each viewing. I saw it in theatres back in 1985, and have been hooked on a western ever since. The film premiered in cinemas on July the 9th, 1985, in wide release throughout the United States. During its opening weekend, Silverado opened in 7th place, lagging behind the giant that was Back to the Future. The film topped out domestically at $32 million. Among mainstream film critics, Silverado heralded mainly positive reviews. A famous critic cited, Whereas many of the westerns from the 70s try a revisionist take on the genre, Silverado offers a wholehearted embracing of the western traditions. If you don't like westerns, you should check out Silverado and let writer-director Lawrence Kasdan show you what he does in this unabashed celebration of the genre. If you do like westerns, you and Kasdan have something in common, and you should have as much fun watching this movie as he did making it. We score Silverado a quirky 7.5 out of 10. Let us know in the comments how you would rate this one. Thank you so much for watching. Please consider subscribing to our channel if you enjoy this content, and as always, I'll see you on the other side.